Shalom, you homies. Welcome to the Stacking Triggers BNR announcement reaction uh, for August 26, 2024. I'm Dan. That's Bill. Uh, let's just get right into it. So, there's a whole litany of, of things I've read ahead. I don't like this already. I think this is a bad ban list already. Uh, so, let's start with standard. No changes. That's a format neither of us really play, so who cares? Pioneer. Amalia and Soren are both banned. The the Phoenix is untouched. Phoenix untouched. Hope everybody's ready. Uh, modern Nadu and Grief are banned. Why why Grief? grief? Uh, yeah, I don't I don't know why on the like. Did they want to make sure that Necro didn't take its place? Uh, yeah, that's insane. To because me. this doesn't really impact Necro. The, this, yeah, lot. Necro's yeah. just like Necro no longer has like the free thoughtsies. I guess is the thing. But okay. Like, yeah, who, <laughs> yeah. Who cares? Uh, Legacy, Grief is banned. My Expect frog is safe. Expected. Vintage, Urza Saga and Vexing Bobble are both restricted. Ooh. That's interesting, because typically aren't... Th things that are restricted are generally reserve list stuff, mm. I believe. Or things that they deem, like, if you have more than one of is too powerful. Sure. And I think Urza... I, I, I think, think Urza Saga Urza is Saga, very yeah. good. A Urza, very Saga, good Urza Saga kind of nuts. Uh, Vexing Bobble, I have no idea. Urza Saga is just a generically good card, and basically any deck that runs oh, it. Oh, Vexing Bobble, it hits all the free rocks. Uh, the medallions? Yeah, yeah, the zero cost, uh, like, oh, mana okay. rocks that they play. Interesting. Uh, Explorer, or I'm sorry, Alchemy, no changes. Explorer, which is just Pioneer on Arena. Uh, Amalia and Soren again. Historic, no changes. Timeless, no changes, which is weird, because I know they've said in Timeless that Boros Energy is a problem, and I know they did nerf a couple cards, hmm. so I don't know if they're waiting for to see what happens with those nerfs. Maybe maybe, maybe the nerfs actually worked. Yeah, or maybe yeah. the nerfs worked. Uh, Brawl, no changes. Effective date for all of these changes is today, if you're watching or listening to this right now, August 26, 2024. Arena effective date is August 27th, 2024. Yay. So uh, if you have Arena, eh, go buy... Go buy... Uh, your Amalias and Sorens, so you can get your wild cards for free. You can have those cards and then get free wild cards for, well, you know what I mean, like, like new yeah. wild cards <laughs> for those particular cards. Yep. Uh, do we want to, what, what explanations do we want to read? All of them or just, um, just Pioneer and Modern? So I want to, so like Pioneer and Mo, Pioneer, like we know why Amalia and Soren. Uh, find for me on that if there's anything that says like where they bring up treasure crews if they bring ah uh, they do yep all right uh we've considered okay so this is particularly for treasure crews like we talked about our reasonings yep. for Amalia and Soren already but I want to hear why they didn't want to ban treasure crews yeah yep so we considered other cards such as treasure crews and fable of the mirror breaker not shocking uh were discussed uh at length our team decided that while each of the following formats clearly needs a change we wanted to take an approach that would allow us to make the mo most important changes necessary in each format without possibly going too far uh this being a con common sentiment you will read about in the changes blah 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 we're confident each of the changes to these formats makes it more fun but how much more fun we'd like to observe the set changes and see how each format evolves and then decide if more changes are necessary at the next bnr announcement on december 16th Oh yeah, that's the that's the next one after the next set, right? After I thought I thought Duskmorn released at the end of this month of September, I should say. Right? Don't they give it like a couple weeks? They give it five, so that would be like November. Um, they have dates. So so I guess they're I guess they are just having hard like it, that's weird. Unless unless Foundations is making that. Ch different right because foundations sure. is going to be i know it's like a supplemental add to standard and pioneer and stuff sure but like the, the timing between those two would be like like the bnr would happen like the week that foundations comes out sure i don't, I don't know, know. I, that <laughs> but like if this is like that's just a weird window i don't know because it, it deviates from the two to five week and maybe they've learned from that and be like hey, the two to five week window it's too we short. don't we don't do anything in these windows so we just need to like actually set like a realistic window but that is um, nearly five months when's the when's the 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 pine or the modern season end end of november maybe even end of october okay and then it's 
it's probably standard in asteroid. Well, this is Pioneer, so why am I even thinking that? Yeah. Uh, also, hold your mic to your face, please. Sorry. You're fine. All right, Modern. I want to see why Grief is banned. Uh, we, we know why Nadu is banned. Yeah. Totally. I want to see why Grief is banned and why the One Ring wasn't touched. Play in the this thing be an R's blah, 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 blah. blah. Love. Oh, well, grief is... Okay, so... F- okay, so there's a whole section, so be it, bear in mind for a lot of reading. For some time now, grief has been maligned as one of the least fun parts of competitive modern events. Sure. Okay. Uh, starting the game down two or three cards from various one-mana ways it can be returned is quite brutal. Having a mulligan is already painful, but being double griefed directly afterwards just exacerbates an already unfun experience. Even outside of Mulligans, having a one a turn one answer to a three or four power menace creature after an opponent has taken away your best cards is just asking too much. Yeah. Uh, yes, but also, uh, why, why now? Of, yeah. all, of all times, yeah, why, why now? Why not earlier? This like this exact reasoning was something I would have said last summer, right? Or even before MH three. Yeah. Wild. Uh, while Grief is not currently seeing as much play as it has in the past, correct, it is still a format staple used in several decks, Mono Black, Necro, Gorios, uh, Living, oh, End. Uh, Living End, Rakdos Midrange, and a handful of other decks uh, are still using one mana cards to abuse Grief's manaless uh, evoke interaction. In the interest of making the format more fun, we are banning Grief today. Uh, Why is everything sure. in the name of fun? Sure. <laughs> um... What do you think about this? Uh, I, I think it was a bit premature of a ban because, like, this format, like, there's very little grief as is. Like, yeah, okay, it's in the decks that they're mentioning, but these decks that they're mentioning are so low right now. Uh, like, Gorios has seen a little bit more play coming up. I, I did notice that. But at the same time, it's like you're... Oh, okay, it's Gorios. Like, yeah. you hold your counter spells. Yeah, if you have the kind of or or whatever you, whatever you need yeah. to do, yeah. Uh, I, which I, I understand mulliganing, griefing it away, whatever. Yeah, it's bad. It sucks, but they also don't. They, they a lot. They will not mulligan to a grief. Yeah, they're looking for other things. Other things. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, I I don't like this band. I think this band sucks. I I, I don't. Maybe maybe they're like oh. If Nadu goes, the grief decks now come back, and like Nadu players move to Gorios I, and Living I'm, End and shit. I'm so, not gonna lie, I did think if Nadu got banned, I was gonna try the Rakdos <laughs> mid range deck again. I don't think that deck's very good. A- anyway, yeah, I, I saw it just one like someone just won with an, R- an RSQ with it, but like I don't think the deck's very good right now. That's fine. Uh, I think you're allowed if, to think that if if the deck was gonna be good, it needs Fury back. And oh yeah, Fury's the best in that deck yeah and especially in this format yeah uh i would have loved to see fury unbanned just so like like if you're gonna ban grief i think bringing back fury is fine yeah actually i think fury coming back would actually keep the energy decks in check yes because now the energy well we'll talk about it uh we certainly considered a few other cards to take action against in this announcement namely the one ring while present in several decks there is no clear the one ring deck terrorizing modern yet uh, being a unique combination of self-protection and card advantage, it is a strong card that helps prep up, prop up several various strategies. Ultimately, we decided not to act against the One Ring. The possible problems it may be causing for Modern just aren't as clear as Nadu and Grief. That's wrong. Uh, once we see how the format evolves after this change, we will continue to observe and evaluate the health of Modern and see which future actions are necessary. On a more positive note, despite Nadu overshadowing much of the potential of what players can explore within the addition of uh, Modern Horizons 3, we've seen a few non-Nadu cards and strategies find success. Energy and Eldrazi uh, decks were themes we took in... in ter- oh my god. Intentional shots at propping up Necro Dominance is the namesake card of a brand new Mono Black strategy. Psychic Frog has transformed the previous Is It Murktide into Demir versions. Uh, what else about that? So like that's just like hey we we did great with them with hey <laughs> with Modern hey, Horizon three hey, these, these cards are good you guys yeah. should buy them <laughs> all right so uh, Pioneer obviously the big winner of this ban list is Phoenix 
Not even a question. Yeah, like yeah, I should just build Phoenix. Yeah, everyone, point. everyone's going to just play Phoenix. Well, in, I need to in Pioneer. It. If because, but like, is Pioneer a format that people care about? Like outside of they have not the yeah. RCQ format. Who cares? People haven't cared about it since um, this the 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 Pro Tour you and I were at. Yep. Um, because of how oppressive those two decks were, like. Because, uh, like, what, what was it? Amalia Combo was at the Pro Tour and made top two, right? I don't remember. Uh, like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, because they had to go to, like, game, like, seven or something. Yeah, and that's that's another reason why Amalia should have just, like, it should have been immediately after that Pro Tour that uh, Amalia was banned. It, just seeing, like, the unintentional draws that they forced, like, yeah. the fact that they had to make a ruling on unintentional draws regarding Amalia is, is insane. It's insane, yeah. So like that that in and of itself should have been like okay it's it's fine for this pro tour and then we just ban this card afterwards like yeah. just I'm I'm glad they banned Soren as well just because I don't know how but they were always able to just get to Soren I mean it's whatever uh I I think leaving uh Fable is okay I think it's fine for now I it's think okay. I'd like to see what Rakdos strategies go back to I don't I don't see Vein Ripper being like, I, I don't see Rakdos Vampires being a thing anymore. I think it just goes to ra- back to Rakdos good stuff, which is, like, you know, yeah. turn one uh, a card. I don't know. Turn one Thoughtsies, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what else. Yeah, there, there might be some crazy ramp strategies between Bloomborough and, like, uh, Enchanting Tales. Because I know there's a lot of token sure. generation that happens. I don't know what people can come up with, though. Like, it's... So, you, like, they might still be able to turbo it out, but... It's not going to be at the same rate, which yeah. is fantastic. But what I mean is, like, they're going to go back to the original Rakdos, ra- like, mid-range, which oh, is, like, nice. turn one Thoughtseize, turn two uh, Vampire, two, three two Vampire that creates a blood token, turn three Fable, turn four Children. Like, yeah. you know, your standard, like, if I curve properly, what deck beats me? Yeah, exactly. Deck. I, I think that, that version just comes back. Uh, Amalia just dies. Uh, sorry to everybody who bought return of the ranks uh and all all the combo cards really the ancestors i think it's called it's it's return to the ranks okay. because it's one. the one like it's essentially like Savine's there's an instant Re- speed one right? it's essentially savine's reclamation but not um yeah i don't know that's it like that's all i have to say about pioneer i think this just, like it just raises up every other deck every other deck gets a little bit better now because of yeah like now you don't have to pack as much like main deck removal for uh what's her what's their face Amalia combo yeah all right uh as for modern obviously nadu going is a boon to everybody because then we don't have ridiculous game states to drag on including people who don't concede after 48 minutes <laughs> uh i i only heard about that i did not watch it in real Neither time it, apparently it was a fucking demir murktide player and i i got very upset seeing that mm-hmm yeah i i don't um but yeah um i i'm a little disappointed they didn't take a hit at the one ring oh i'm very disappointed i think um, that sucks yeah. and now every deck should, if if you are not strictly an aggro deck because remember the energy deck runs 22 lands so right. like that's getting to more mid-rangey stri- territories of lands if you yep. are not run if you are not an aggro deck you should be playing the one ring yep so uh i said it you're gonna you're gonna jam. It I this said weekend. it. <laughs> if if it does if it escapes the ban, I'm jamming it in Murktide. And guess what? I'm playing it in fucking Murktide now. I don't care. Yeah. What was crazy too? Like there was a big sell off on on the rings. Like their price just dipped, uh, like to seventy bucks for the standard printing. Yep. And now uh, I just pulled up TCG player. Lightly played foil is already at ninety five. After this announcement, near mints are at ninety five. Yeah. Like. It's, it's climbing yeah. back up. So big day for those of us who held on to their rings big day. because yeah. we, we, you know, we don't trust Watsy to do fucking anything right. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm actually severely disappointed that, like, there's not one deck, but, like, there has been other bannings where it's like, oh, this is just too good in any deck. So yeah. So, I... I mm. It's... It, we thought... It was 50% of the Pro Tour. 50% of the decks in the Pro yeah. Tour ran the card. Well... Now I have bad news for you. Uh, fifty percent of every deck is going to run a fucking one ring. Yeah, yeah, it's so stupid. Uh, just moving on, I think to the next one that I care about. Uh, Legacy. 
Sure. Yeah, they're banning grief. Um, so, uh, let's see. That means my mono black oops all spells deck is pretty much dead though. True. You all... can't. You cannot protect that deck anymore. Nope. I think I would have to replace the griefs with like another zero cost to just to be able to do the um, calling the weak, where you sack a creature, get four mana, attempt your combo. That's... Sure. Yeah. I don't know. I, I need another free creature. Either way. Um, so there's legacy can take a lot of power. Uh, take a lot of power. The format seems. Uh, sees play with some of the most, some of the game's most powerful cards, but regardless of how powerful your cards are, you need to be able to cast them to take advantage of them. Much like in modern, grief prevents players from being able to do that. While folks in modern use narrow cards like uh, Rebirth and Ephemerate uh, to take advantage of grief's mana-less evocability, a legacy has reanimate and animate dead back up with protective elements like days and force of will. Various flavors of reanimator strategies have long been viable in Legacy, but they have been generally kept in check by the strongest anti-graveyard cards ever printed, widely available. Grief presents a threat that synergizes well with reanimation effects while being able to attack the hate cards opponents would traditionally present. Uh, simply put, Legacy to, has not been able to self-correct to handle the power combination of Grief and Reanimate with Demir and Reanimator's ever-growing metagame share. It was like 53% at one point. Uh, <laughs> and I, I just keep going back. Every time yeah. Every time I talk, like, every time I hear, oh, Grief needs to be banned in Legacy, I just think back, Gr man, Grief would be fucking terrible in Legacy. Why would you want to reanimate Grief in Legacy when you can reanimate Troll of Khazadun? And it's like... <sighs> Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Sure. Yeah, it's fantastic. Um, so that's why they decided to ban grief and legacy. Again, we, we know that. As in modern, we we consider a handful of other cards. Uh, for this round of changes, we looked into the new Eldrazi deck, featuring several modern Horizon three cards, and talked a lot about Psychic Frog. However, grief and reanimator is such a large part of the current legacy metagame that we wanted to make clear and obvious the changes to the format before making future changes. Specifically, Grief and Psychic Frog are featured together in Demir Reanimator. Psychic Frog also appears in various Delver shells, but it stands to reason that it should have a similar metagame presence once Grief has been removed. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I don't care about Vintage, so I'm not going to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so that. big winners from Modern. We didn't really talk about that. Oh, so right. Ener yeah. Energy's the big, the big winner, like the big, big winner. Uh, it's... Skate, it skates by unscathed. It keeps its one ring back up. Like, uh, hey, I oh, it, it's one ring. Oh shit, I'm losing this game. Oh, let me just play this four mana card to stop me from losing the game and get back some cards. Yeah, card. Um, I think Storm flies up the the rankings now. I'm trying to think. Um, because Nadu's not present. Nadu. Yeah, probably, probably, because, like, I think Storm does just replace Nadu, because Nadu was the A combo, and so I think Storm will just take that as the combo spot. Yeah, it, it becomes yeah. the preeminent combo deck. Um, every deck that was using the one ring that wasn't Nadu now flies up in, in value. Uh, just Guy Control gets keeps its good stuff, like, yeah. I mean, it, stay, it stays good, like, that, whatever. Yeah, no, uh, no changes to that one. <laughs> Uh, Gorios obviously falls off, I think, pretty heavily, actually. Because now you have no protection for your Gorio spell. Yeah. Uh, you have to, like, it has to be, like, cast instant speed and then pitch to force of negation. But, like, that, I don't know, man. That, I, think, I think it's the same with, uh, Living End. I, I think Living End has the same problem. Yeah. Uh, although, like, they they're, they were running force of negation, so it's like, why? Why, are you, why do you care about this card? Yeah. Uh, but... Yeah, I don't know. I think um, yeah, black decks. I think overall take a big hit. I think the Necrodominance deck takes a big hit. They took a hit, but they they didn't lose the One Ring, so they're still going to like if they can't find the dominant uh, the Necro, they're going to find the Ring and get what they need to get. Sure, but also what the deck needed to do 
was uh, use grief to stop their opponent from doing anything for the first couple tur- turns. That's true. And now, if your opponent can just do whatever they want for the first couple turns, who cares? Yeah, I, I think they just slot in extra removal at this point. I, I don't know what the deck list looks like already, but I would assume... I, I think they were running Fatal Pushes and stuff. I don't know. Oh Well, actually, so they're getting, what, at least... How many slots? Because it's typically, what, six reanimates? I don't think they were playing any... They might have been playing, like, one or two, and maybe they were in, like, uh, Malakir Myers. I don't know for sure. Yeah, like, I'm I'm thinking maybe that's what they were... I'm, I'm not going to look it up. I don't have... Yeah. Uh, and then, aside from that, I don't know if there are any other big winners or losers. I... I, 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 I don't I, I know. Hate this. I, I, I don't like... I don't care about grief in modern right now i haven't ca- i haven't thought about grief existing at all in modern yeah so what's nice now though uh stony silence's share just went up because that prevents the activation of abilities from who cares i i do who cares me because now i can at least stop them from unlimited card draw it, sure yeah if you want i don't know i think i think it's an okay play uh, or or just name the one ring with the thing. What's the thing that comes in? Pithing needle. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh, whatever. I I don't know. <sighs> they they had a great opportunity to take the one ring here. They did not. They did not take it. I think that sucks. I think they should have taken it. Yeah. Uh, and I think with the next ban list window being December sixteenth, so that's four and a half to five months of. The one ring running around. Yeah, uh, I hope you. I hope everybody has answers to the one ring now, because like, yep. I, I I promise you, I'm just putting four into Merktide. I don't give a shit anymore. I don't care. I think everybody's just gonna start doing that, and then maybe they'll get the hint. <laughs> and then, uh, greedy mana bases didn't really take a hit. No, greedy mana bases. I actually think balloon from this. Like I like I think. Uh, yeah, because. Because those decks, the, those decks t- tend to one, run the one ring. So just guy control, amulet titan, um, those kind of combo decks. Like so, pack your blood moons. If you if you're a red deck, pack your blood moons. Uh, if you're a two color red deck, pack your blood moons. If you're a two color blue deck, pack your flood moons. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I have to think about what I'm removing from the deck to even put in one rings in the first place. Hmm. Because my original thought was Flood Moon, if like Flage also like yeah, if but Flage, Flage also still... got hit, yeah. But Flage is there, so like who cares? So right. I have to think of like something else. It might be considers, but like considers also gets you to land drops, which also gets you to your play. Be able to play your yeah, one rings. Yeah, you, you play what four consider four three consider. Oh, three consider three consider four the preordains, right? Yep. So. Hmm. I don't know. I, I would maybe cut two and just put two rings in instead of doing slamming all four. Nah, slam four. Fuck it. Who cares? <laughs> Go down on lands. You you have psychic frog to pitch extra land uh, extra rings that you don't need. That's true. Yeah, I don't know. I'm disappointed that the ring is still here. Yeah, I I think that sucks. But I mean, uh, good for everybody. We who can't. Helped. Yeah, we, we we can't. We can't do anything about it. You can't um, get. Yeah, it, it it's just prepare your annuls, your consigned to memories. Uh, Mainly you're consigned to memories because Eldrazi also stays pretty up, uh, pretty on top. A- any of the damage can't be prevented cards. Uh, yeah. So previously you were going to side out. Like Storm was probably going to stop running Alchemist Gambit. Uh, which says you take an extra turn. Hmm. Damage can't be prevented during that turn. Uh, and at the end of that turn, if uh the game is still going, you lose the game. Oh no. <laughs> so what they would do is they would like storm off. Uh, if you ring one ring protection, you would they would storm off, uh, then go uh, gambit and wish for gambit and uh, what the hell's the card called? Uh, the 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 four mana card that says make a bunch of two two. Or oh, two, empty one, the warrens. Empty the warrens. Yeah. They would storm off for that, and then go to the following turn where damage can't be prevented and just alpha strike you. Yeah. With like a million fucking goblins. Ye. So yeah, that's like th- that's still sticking around. I would s- expect Prowess to still be running Wild Slash, uh, Red mid range decks to be running like 
uh, Bone Crusher Giant for the Stomp. So yeah, yeah. that's uh, you have those uh, all the damage can't be prevented shit in red. So uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, sucks for everybody else. Grixis Tide. <laughs> Grixis Tide. No, I'm not playing Grixis. Three colors. <laughs> who fucking cares? Uh, but yeah, that's it. Yeah. Disappointment, uh, but like yeah. it, they 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 banned they banned the one, obvious card one, one good card they banned the obvious card so like I I can't even grade that like it had to be that card yeah if it was not not if they did not ban Nadu this was an immediate failure yeah like the ba- so the baseline for this ban list was banning Nadu and only Nadu banning grief I think is okay fine like, I don't I, like I I don't see the point of it I but... don't I don't either whatevs. So that's it. Let us know what you think of the ban list in all the formats, uh, and the no changes in all uh, all the other formats that aren't modern, pioneer, vintage, <laughs> and explorer. Yeah. Well, I, I think standards also pr- in a pretty good spot. Like they're standard they're standard also just had a recent set print. That's true so too. Knows? Yeah. Like they they've been, from what I understand, the meta is very diverse there. If there was anything on standard, it would be the innkeepers Raska combo. But like yeah, whatever. I'm surprised they didn't even look at that. It must be harder to assemble than well, but... they might have looked at it, but I. Disregard the entire dissertation they wrote on the thing. Who cares? <laughs> All right. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Let us know what you thought of the ban list in the comments below or on Twitter. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, goodbye forever. Keep calm and spike on.